Hi, Last Pop here. Today I'm taking a look at Archibus, a Men of Iron series game. Uh, currently, uh, there are four games in the series, three which uh, were put together in, by GMT into a massive package of games in the series. This concentrates on the fourth wheel, so to speak, that was not included in that package. Uh, this is about the Battles of Northern Italy, 1495 to 1544, and was published by in 2017 by GMT Games. Comes in your standard box for GMT. It's about two inches in size, and on it includes pictures of the on the back of, of the units, a section of one of the maps, and I believe there are eight battles. And includes two 22 by 34 back printed maps, three full color counter sheets of the half inch variety, uh, three player aid cards, two 10 sided dice, a rules book, and a battle book. And uh, has um, fairly high solitaire suitability. Uh, and I believe it actually is much better than, than indicated. I think it's almost a eight or a nine even even though there are no specific solitaire rules in the game. There's nothing in the game to prevent you from playing it solitaire for the most part. Um, and it's got uh, medium-low complexity. Uh, what's nice about this, a series of games is that you can switch from battle to battle fairly quickly, reading any particular rules and doing the setup and playing right away without having to completely relearn uh, the base game of rules. Uh, the old SPI quad concept is in play here to a degree. Also included is a thank you note from a member of the GMT staff. Also is the rules manual. Comes in at 20 pages. And in actual fact, it's probably, instead of 20 pages, it's about 15 or 16 pages of actual rules by the time you take the covers out of the equation and the introductory material which can be perused fairly quickly the nice color illustrations uh, of the counters a glossy paper an example of all the various units and a little history behind them so you know what you actually have there which is nice uh, rules for victory, sequence of play, which is activation phase, move fire phase, shock phase, rally phase, continuation phase. So what's nice about this system is is that you can kind of push your units uh, until they can't be pushed anymore within the limitations of the rules. Or your opponent intercedes or you decide to consecutively pass you and your opponent. You have rules for leaders, and they impact your continuation die roll, which is the upper number here. And you have to roll that number or less on a 10-sided die. Um, then you've got movement. Facing. Facing is towards the hex spine or vertex. There are no zones of control, so you can get a, a nice mess of units. Stacking is limited to one typically one unit and a leader for the most part with a few exceptions like having the baggage train and the unit with it you have missile fire which is starting to add the um arquebuses in this game as well as as um units that use bows you have shock combat and involves basically what in the great battles of history from ancients is involves a, a clash of spears but here it's a clash of arms charging and counter charging which makes your melees more effective combat results retirement rallying Special rules like Swiss reluctance, gun wagons, pregenitor maybe to the tank to a degree, or a precursor, 
an index, sources, and credits. Also included is a battle book. A little historical information. And then for each of the battles. And to help you set up the game, in addition to a hex setup, you have a picture of where the various units set up. To make sure you've got a cue as to what is actually right in your setup in case you put a unit in the wrong place on the map. As a double check, in other words. All the details for the scenarios. Next battle. I won't attempt to even pronounce some of these because I'll know I'll mess them up. And I don't want to offend my Italian friends. As in with so many games GMT publishes, there's an awful lot of gaming in this package between all the scenarios and variations that Richard Berg would give you. Some of the battles use only a small portion of the map space. Other ones use a full side of a map sheet. An example of play to make sure you were doing things right. And an extended sequence of play. So there's no question as what happens when. Your weapons matrix or clash of arms style effects so you have your defender and your attacker and the impact it has on combat in terms of a modifier terrain effects charts some of the maps have terrain effects charts on the board fire results fire drms seizure And there's two sets of this. Also included is a flight point track and a general information track with the specific flights numbers for the particular side in battle. Single sided. Counters. The thin white core, but perfectly acceptable. Erratic counter for the Blood and Roses game from the first edition, which is now part of that multi game pack. The disordered side. Please pause if you'd like to take a longer look at the counters. One thing I will note in an effort to add some counter pizzazz uh, there's they've used a, a light lighter effect of color behind the individual units and especially with some of the darker colors in this case the blue it's somewhat harder to actually see for me at least the silhouette included beyond the fact that it's also a small counter But that could be just me. Your mileage may vary. In the final third encounter sheet,
Also included 2D10 and a package of plastic baggies to hold some of your units. Here you have some of the maps. It's going to be difficult to get this all in one, one go. But we shall try. As you can see, this battle, Bioka, is on the smaller side and even smaller is Serignola here. And then you have another battle on this half of the map of Sarasoli. And on the back side is the Battle of Pavia, which encompasses the entire map. Typical understated map design, very nicely done. Nothing garish here. And that is appreciated, at least on, on my part. The Battle of Fornovo. Includes the better part of a half of a map, minus charts and the aforementioned terrain effects chart. And another game battle, Agnadello, on the half of the front side of the map. And then finally, a couple more battles, which are essentially half mappers Ravenna. And forgive my mispronunciation, Marignano. All nicely done. This is what you get in the Akabus package. This has been Blast Pop. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.